Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Trail camera security cameras and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. We have gathered trail camera footage of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows, and strange phenomena that defy explanation. We have it all. Our team of experts scours the internet and beyond to bring you the latest and greatest in the world of wildlife and the unknown. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran outdoorsman, or just a curious viewer, Buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Now, let's get into the captures. We've just received an intriguing batch of photos from an individual in Upper Michigan who alleges that he's captured Bigfoot on his trail camera. Choosing to keep the location a secret for reasons we can all understand, he's provided us with four clear photographs that have stirred both doubt and wonder. At a glance, these photos are impressive, arguably the most definitive shots of Bigfoot to date. Each depicts what seems to be a large, furry creature resembling the iconic Bigfoot. Yet, a closer look suggests that while the subjects share traits, they don't match up exactly. This leads us to ponder. Is it possible that there's not just one, but four separate Bigfoot creatures traversing his land? I don't know about that. I must admit, I'm wrestling with doubt here. The debate over Bigfoot's very existence is ongoing and contentious, without even considering the idea of multiple such beings nearby. The subtle differences in stature, fur texture, facial construction, and even posture in the images intensify the mystery. I'm curious to know what you all think. Are these photos real proof of multiple Bigfoots in Upper Michigan, or is there another reason for the variances seen in the pictures? Are we looking at a groundbreaking Find, or could it be a sequence of elaborate fabrications? I don't really know what to think. The fact that they're on trail cameras and seem to be taken in different spots. One even says Laura's camera. Maybe that's his wife or daughter. I just don't know. I really want to believe these are the real deal. This next video is pretty wild. A Reddit user shared a creepy story on a paranormal subreddit. Her father-in-law, who works as an investigator for a trucking company, has the job of watching over truck drivers to make sure they're driving safely. If a driver swerves suddenly or stops abruptly, cameras in the truck start recording, showing both the road ahead and the driver's reaction. But what if these cameras catch something totally unexpected? This story involves a stretch of road with a sad past. Back in 2013, a young girl was killed there in a hit-and-run accident. Now, in the dim light of the truck's headlights, a ghostly figure in white appears to be walking in the lane as the truck gets closer. The girl doesn't move out of the way, and the driver, realizing what's happening, tries to stop the huge truck. His co-driver, sensing the danger, looks ahead, but road construction barriers block any chance of swerving around her. As they get closer to the eerie figure, she looks right at them. They manage to stop the truck. Sure, they've hit her, but when they check around and even call the police, there's no sign of the girl. So what exactly did the truck's cameras capture on that road? I'll let you make up your own mind about that. Picture yourself in a forest when suddenly all the wildlife starts fleeing in one direction. Most people would instinctively go the other way, right? But not this individual. Observing the animals hastily moving in one direction, he didn't retreat. Instead, his curiosity was piqued and he drove towards the commotion. On his short drive, he encountered an unusual sight, a large mound of what appeared to be shifting bushes. However, bushes don't typically move on their own, sparking his curiosity further. Upon closer inspection, he discovered the movement wasn't caused by bushes at all, but by a creature resembling a blend of an ape and a human. 
commonly known as Sasquatch or Bigfoot. The creature emitted a growl, which was intimidating, yet it didn't show any aggression. It seemed more focused on its own activities than on him. While some people interpreted its sounds as warnings, Sasquatch researchers suggested these noises might actually be mating calls. What are your thoughts on this video? I've seen it myself, and to be honest, I have some doubts about its authenticity. When venturing into the forest, one expects to encounter a variety of natural sounds. But Louise's experience was anything but ordinary. A regular solo camper and the face behind the YouTube channel Camper Vibe, Louise was unprepared for the eerie events that unfolded during her stay in Daringwood, Kent. There is a lot of noises in these woods. Sounds like kids screaming. Oh, it's just a train. Is it a bird or is it kids screaming? Honestly, I've never known a woods with so many strange noises. It's not just your normal birds and stuff and planes. There's a lot of planes. There's like this weird... Well, I don't really know how to describe it, but... These woods have a reputation as one of the UK's most haunted areas. And what was supposed to be a peaceful camping trip for Louise quickly escalated into her most spine-chilling experience to date. Louise's night in the woods was constantly disrupted by bizarre noises, unlike anything she had encountered before. A sense of unease began to overwhelm her, and her instincts told her there was something peculiar about these woods. Her feelings proved accurate. Louise longed for daylight more than ever, as in the dead of night, the sound of something or someone pacing outside her tent became audible. The footsteps, heavy and bipedal, rustled through the leaves close to her sleeping spot, then abruptly stopped as if the presence had halted right outside her tent. After a period of silence, there was a scratching sound on her tent, followed by a frightful noise. For about an hour and 20 minutes, all was quiet, until Louise was startled awake by more noises. Fed up, she summoned the courage to investigate. Swear to God, that was footsteps. That's just the house, though. This is definitely the scariest night I've ever had in a tent. Upon inspection, she found no one outside. The mysterious walker had vanished, leaving only disturbed crows behind. Louise, visibly shaken by this daunting solo camping ordeal, admitted it was the most frightened she'd ever been while camping. 
Imagine lying in a tent, hearing footsteps encircling you in the dark, uncertain if it's a prankster or something more sinister. Would you be brave enough to endure such a night alone in the dark woods? Personally, I wouldn't dare. I'd like to know your thoughts on this next clip, or if any of you have seen anything like this in your areas. We are viewing video taken from a car that turns off an established road onto a dirt path in a forest. The car drives only a short while before meeting two visitors on the path. They look to be girls, but they are dressed in all white and appear to be glowing. Maybe it's just the headlights of the car causing them to appear that they are glowing, but that seems unlikely. When the car reaches the girls, they turn around. They don't appear to have faces, at least not that we can see from the video. Their whole body, skin, faces, and clothes included are all ghostly white. The driver of the car realizes there is something terribly wrong with these two and backs the car down the path towards the safety of the main road. He escapes unharmed. But the real question is who or what were the girls? Were they ghosts? Or perhaps something more sinister? Or hell? Maybe the footage was faked. You'll have to be the judge. The YouTube channel Grizzly Gaz features a spine-tingling video of Gaz and his loyal dog Fendi on a camping adventure in the woodlands of West Yorkshire. Gaz, familiar with this particular campsite from previous solo trips, anticipated a peaceful getaway with Fendi, a respite from daily life. However, as night fell, their serene retreat quickly turned into a haunting ordeal. During the night, Gaz and Fendi were startled awake by eerie noises outside their tent. The sound of snapping branches and footsteps that understandably unnerved Gaz. But the situation escalated to a more frightening level. Put me boots on. Gaz heard growling or snarling sounds coming from the darkness outside his tent. Staying inside, he pondered whether he was imagining things or if someone was playing a prank. As the sounds drew nearer, Gaz decided to turn off the lights.
Despite being spooked by the continuous creepy noises, Gaz mustered the courage to step outside his tent into the dark to investigate. someone with me <clears throat> got a big dog here and a nice knife with your name on it He scoured the campsite but found no one. Attempting to scare off the intruder, Gaz received no response. Instead, he heard something resembling the chopping of wood in the dark. Gaz returned to his tent, taking a moment to contemplate the mysterious presence outside. Eventually, he managed to drift off to sleep, only to be rudely awakened again. This time, Gaz was startled by the sounds of someone or something. Rummaging through his belongings just a few feet away and scratching the side of his tent. He shouted at the intruder and it fled, the footsteps eerily human-like. Viewers of Grizzly Gaz's video were gripped by the suspense. Some speculated it might have been a feral hog, but others pointed out that the creature seemed to run on two legs, not four. Gaz himself noted that there are no wild pigs in Bradford. West Yorkshire, and suspected someone was trying to frighten him. So what do you think was lurking outside Gaz's tent that night? A wild animal, a person, or something more mysterious? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Take a look at this trail cam footage and let me know if you see what I see. The trail cam captures two deer as they graze around the area after dark, but notice their body language. They appear to be on edge, constantly checking for danger. Being prey animals, deer are always on alert, but these two are even more so. Watch the clip again. Follow the deer's line of sight as they stand there, fixated on something up in the trees. Can you see it? It looks like a face to me, but it's so dark it's difficult to tell. There is clearly something there, but is it supernatural or not? Tell us what you can see.
We've all come across various videos on the internet claiming the existence of lizard people, or, as they're often referred to, reptilians. These so-called reptilian humanoids are creatures that straddle the line between fiction and reality. They're featured in legends, folklore, works of fiction, and even conspiracy theories. Renowned for their intelligence, they're believed by some to occupy influential roles within the government. The concept can be traced back to a short story penned by Robert E. Howard in 1929. Later on, conspiracy theorist David Icke popularized the idea that these reptilian beings are secretly orchestrating events against the human race. Some even go as far as to accuse prominent figures of being reptilians in disguise. Former President Obama, for instance, was once a subject of such claims. One of the most talked about pieces of evidence was a clip from a live broadcast. In it, amidst a crowd, a man in a suit can be seen. For a split second, his eyes blink and shift to an almost ghostly white. This fleeting moment was nothing short of astonishing for viewers. Was it a mere camera glitch? A side effect of live broadcasting? Or could it be tangible proof suggesting that reptilians live among us? The following ghostly footage shared on the YouTube channel Ghost23 features the channel's creator, Idol, venturing solo into the dense Philippine jungle, surrounded by imposing mountains. Idol's mission was to capture the beauty of a waterfall, a site surrounded by legends. According to local lore, this waterfall is guarded by an encanto, a mythical nature spirit reputed to dwell within the lush greenery and capable of taking human form. This is the remarkable scene Idol encountered as dusk approached. While near the waterfall, Idol notices a slender humanoid silhouette perched on a rock beside the water. The figure remains eerily still, as if observing him. Attempts to communicate are met with silence. Then the entity slowly turns and vanishes into the foliage with a calm demeanor. Idol rushes after it, scrambling up the wet terrain, but the mysterious being is gone without a trace. Viewers of the video are convinced that Idol has captured genuine ghost footage. However, the question remains, if it's not a ghost, how could it ascend such a rugged, steep slope so quickly and easily? Share your theories and insights in the comments below. Our first clip is from Trail Camera Dad, and he's captured some amazing footage. The video starts with the elk feeding on some low vegetation towards the end of the day. You can tell they sense something. Something is hitting their nostrils. One of the cow makes an alert sound, and they all take off. And here comes the lion through the brush. As we watch it again, the cow closest to the screen makes the alert, but her back is facing where the lion came from. I wonder how she knows not to run that way. I guess it could just be instinctual. I'd love to know what experienced elk hunters and wildlife enthusiasts think the reason is.
I grew up in an area that had wild horses. So when I saw this trail cam capturing horses running midday, I was intrigued. As they gallop by, you can notice the foal bringing up the rear. And that's why they're running. I imagine the foal was the bear's target. It's always great to see a glimpse into nature. And further proof that unless you have four legs, it's pretty hard to escape a bear. This is an interesting video here. A young boy and his father are exploring in Yellowstone National Park. As they're admiring the beautiful elk, the boy spots a creature behind the elk. Dad zooms in on the elk grazing and slows the video down. Circled in red, you can see the creature in the background. It appears he's in between a cluster of logs, foraging for something maybe. It's a little too far away to see it clearly, but the boy and his dad were adamant that it was a Bigfoot. I'm not here to tell them what they saw, and honestly, I can't even tell. My only real hang up is that if it were a predator, the elk don't seem to care much. It appears they don't even notice that something is back there. Or, if it is a Bigfoot, maybe they don't view him as a predator. I'd be interested in what you all think about this. And can anyone make out what that creature is? This is an absolutely incredible event. A man is awakened by some commotion on his deck, so he goes to investigate. And wouldn't you know it, a mountain lion is standing there and has killed and dragged an elk onto his deck. Unbelievable. As the man films, the lion gives him a hiss, hoping he'll leave and let him eat in peace. I'm so interested in how all of this went down. If the struggle took place nearby and the cat dragged the elk there, or if it took place right in the guy's backyard. What do you guys think the timeline of events was? You can faintly see some light blood in the snow as the lion walks away. I wonder if he has an injury. Most importantly, I hope the lion is able to eat this, as I know he or she expended a lot of energy to kill that elk. These apex predators fail much more than you might expect. So like I said, a lot of energy was burned. If it was me, I'd call some buddies, load it up in the truck and drag it out in the woods and let nature take its course. Nonetheless, an extraordinary camera capture. As a man named Wyatt drove down a rural road on a dark June night in 2021, the only thing illuminating his way was the beam of his headlights. As he continued, suddenly something strange caught his eye, darting across the road with lightning speed. At first he couldn't make out what it was, but upon reviewing the footage captured by his dash cam, he realized it was something truly terrifying. The creature, resembling something between a dragon and a gigantic mantis, is unexplainable. Wyatt had a passenger with him that night, and he had never seen anything like it either. Currently, this being remains a mystery to this day. Has anyone seen anything like this before? This video, recorded by a Florida man, shows him passing by a seemingly very common sight, a flock of birds in the sky. However, upon closer inspection, he realizes that the birds are not moving and appear to be frozen in time. It is highly unusual for a bird to be able to suspend itself in the sky without flapping its wings and especially uncommon for a large flock of crows, which are known to constantly flap their wings to stay aloft. Are we witnessing a real-life glitch in the Matrix?
When a forest gets really quiet, it always gives me the creeps. And recently, it seems like every forest and town has a scary story attached to it, whether it's real or a myth. Well, recently, a man named Don was walking in the woods when he stumbled upon a creature unlike any he had ever seen before. It moved in a way that was not human or animal-like. As Don was filming, he cautiously crept up on the creature, which was ape-like but had very long and bent arms and legs and was hunched over. Some have suggested it could be a Sasquatch, but what I notice is the arms and hands. They're like nothing I've ever seen. It almost looks like some type of alien to me. The creature's gigantic sloth-like arms had no fingers, and it walked deeper and deeper into the forest. And Don didn't dare follow it. It's hard to say what this creature could be. Some have suggested it could be a deformed monkey or ape, or even a sick bear. But it seems far too thin and lumbering to be a bear. It also seemed to walk on two legs, almost like a human but again, almost alien-like. Others have been referring to this creature as a forest humanoid angel. I'm not sure why anyone would describe this as an angel, but I definitely believe in humanoids. A GoPro attached to a man's helmet shows him mountain biking down a trail. Holy hell. Was anyone fast enough to see that? Let's watch again. A startled deer collides with a mountain biker on a secluded trail, sending both the man, his bike, and the elk tumbling. Thankfully, no serious injuries were reported. In 2011, a farmer in a small village in Russia reported that his home was shaken by a sudden explosion. As he went outside and searched for the source of the blast, he stumbled upon a strange set of remains. The creature had an unusual head and an even more peculiar torso and limbs. Its petrified state was also quite perplexing. The entire shape of the creature is intriguing. The farmer was said to be drying corn at the same time, which makes this even more odd. I don't think I would personally store an alien-like creature next to a potential food source. While it's difficult to say for sure without proper scientific examination, it's possible that this could be an unidentified extinct animal. With the Arctic warming twice as fast as the global average, it's likely that we may see more strange creatures emerging from the permafrost in the future. This next clip comes to us from the Daily Vale in Colorado, and what you see on camera needs no introduction. As you can see, a mountain lion has sauntered into a ground floor ski chalet, which appears to have no doors. Look, I understand ski in and ski out, but one door wouldn't hurt. Anyhow, the cat meanders around the hallway undetected, just checking things out. And somehow he must have gotten stuck in there because he eventually even spends the night curled up down at the end of the hall. The next morning when the sun rises, the cat is looking for an escape. The cat continues to wander the halls, and you see a man stick his head out of his doorway. Looks like he and his son are going to hit the slopes. They duck back into their place as the cat hisses at them. And you can see the cat is frantic to get out of there and can't quite figure out the glass. He can see the outside, but he can't get there. Moments later, a couple comes back in with groceries or something, and a lady and her dog casually walk out for her dog to use the bathroom and start their day. And here comes the lion. As soon as the lion hits the threshold, you can see that he spots the two, likely still very close to the entrance, as he crouches down into a pounce position. 
as we fast forward, the lady eventually gathers her dog back in after likely coming face to face with the lion. She motions to another resident and says, there's a big bobcat. No ma'am, that's no bobcat. Luckily, it seems as no one has been hurt though. Now, if I could, let's run through a scenario really quickly. I think this video is crazy. Let's say you're at this property, enjoying your night, watching Netflix, yada yada, and you hear some commotion out in the hallway. Maybe the lion bumps into your door, you think someone's knocking, whatever. You look through the peephole but don't see anything. So you open the door ever so slightly, and boom, you now have a mountain lion in your condo. What do you do? You probably don't have your phone, maybe you don't have shoes on, completely caught off guard, and now there's a mountain lion inside. What's your next move? I'm genuinely curious. You'd have to think fast. I guess it would depend on who's with you. If my kids and family are in there, I'm going back in regardless. But if I'm alone, I think the move is to lock the cat in there. Again, it would require some quick thinking. Let me know your tactics in the comments below. We've talked a lot about how dangerous feral hogs can be. Not only to the community of farmers and agriculturalists, but to just people in general. In our next clip, we see a group of men trekking through the snow while on a hunt. Now, I don't know if they're hunting these boar, but they're hunting something. They have their rifles over their shoulders, and you can see them start running. When the camera pans behind them, a huge hog is heading straight for them, but veers off. Then another one comes barreling straight at one of the men that has fallen on the ground. Somehow the camera is still rolling, and no gunshots have been heard, I might add. And what looks like an entire family of wild boars is coming over the hill right at the guys. It looks to be like 12 to 15 of them. I'm assuming they all survived because there's a video, and man, they have quite the story to tell. Let me know in the comments if you've had any interactions with wild boars and feral hogs. Like most people, I love any inside look into wildlife, and I particularly love seeing animals and predators in action. Check this out as a wolf chases down a coyote in front of some ice fishermen. Look at the massive size difference. Coyotes are decent size, topping out at around 40 pounds, but big male wolves tip the scales around 140, 100 pound difference. I bet the coyote is glad he doesn't weigh 10 more pounds or he would have been caught. The coyote jukes, getting the wolf off balance, and as the video ends, appears to have gotten away. Just an incredible camera capture for these guys fishing. Residents of Estes Park, Colorado became alarmed when they started seeing an elk with a mesh swing stuck in his antlers. He had been spotted a few times over a span of weeks. A local Facebook page was the first to put it on paper and reported the elk appeared to be in good health, but the swing seemed to be causing the animal some discomfort. Wildlife experts believe that the elk may have mistaken the swing for a rival since this took place during mating season or rut. Elk are known to engage in fierce competition for mates during this time of the year, and the swing may have been perceived as a threat. Experts also pointed out that human-made objects can be dangerous for wild animals, and it's best to avoid leaving any kind of trash or discarded items in natural areas. Local officials were trying to decide if they needed to have a professional remove the swing or let nature take its course and ultimately the swing would become dislodged when the elk lost his antlers. Some commenters on the Facebook post said they wanted to try to pry the swing from his antlers. 
but officials warn them not to. Like they said, it's too dangerous in the middle of mating season. Bucks are aggressive and are known to, quote, stand their ground in the presence of people. Let's leave this one to the professionals, guys. In our first clip, a Mississippi man was left perplexed after spotting what appears to be a massive black cat walking through a field. And even experts can't agree on what he saw. The strange encounter occurred as David Sluter was pulling into a Wendy's in the city of Hernando. David noticed something slinking off in the distance. After initially thinking that he was watching a deer or a coyote because of its size, he then realized that the creature was actually some type of cat. David, who was over 100 yards away from the animal, took out his phone and started filming. As he looked more intently and from his tail, he could definitely tell it was a cat. I mean, look at that tail. That thing is massive. He swears it wasn't an overgrown house cat like some people have said. And authorities agree with him. An expert with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife quickly dismissed the mystery feline as a house cat, claiming the pointed shape of the creature's ears confirmed that conclusion. However, the city and county animal control weren't excited about the Department of Wildlife claiming that the creature is the much more dangerous mountain lion. Nevertheless, everyone is currently on the lookout for the big cat. This next trail cam capture comes from Brian Sammons. At first glance, he thought he had a deer die right in front of his camera. However, the photo actually shows deer visiting and sleeping in the same spot nearly every night. Salmon says the deer, a young buck, calmly walks up to the spot every few nights and just lies down. It's unusual behavior as deer are known to be skittish and they avoid sleeping in the same place for multiple consecutive nights. He agrees how interesting it is to see this. He agrees it's really cool to see this and thinks it may have something to do with this particular location being safe or the deer just feeling really comfortable. Experts say it could indicate that the area is a migration or feeding location. I'd be interested to know what the experienced outdoorsman thinks about this. Nevertheless, it's always fascinating to see wild animals in their natural habitats. As an add-on to the last photo, this next one is a cool one too. A man placed a camera in a dilapidated pole barn on the back of his property. He noticed a family of deer would come and bed down in there. And as you can see, this one seems to have noticed the camera, while the other one seems to have taken a liking to the protection of the old truck. On another note, let me know in the comments if you can spot the third deer in this picture. I suspect some will find it easily, but some, not so much. This next clip shows a few photos from a trail camera. A man captured a rare and intense standoff between a coyote and a bobcat on his trail cam. The footage shows the two animals facing off, with the coyote appearing to be on the defensive as the bobcat advances. Despite their similarities in size, the bobcat wins the standoff and the coyote eventually retreats. While bobcats and coyotes rarely fight, each knows the other is a formidable foe. This kind of confrontation is not unusual among wild animals as they are often competing for the same resources, such as food and territory. It's interesting to see the dynamic between the two species, and it's a reminder that not everything has to come to blows. Bobcats and coyotes rarely fight because each knows the other is a formidable foe. And honestly, it's not worth the hassle of getting injured. There's much easier prey out there, and plenty of it. Anyhow, the man who captured this footage is lucky seems to have some pretty cool animals on his property. The security camera system of a home in Henderson, Kentucky recently captured eerie footage of what appears to be an apparition. The homeowners, Pamela and Rick Carter, were so spooked by the footage that they are now considering moving from their home. The strange scene was reportedly captured earlier this month at the Carter's home. According to the couple, the potential spirit had been spotted in the flesh a few days earlier when they saw a strange man walking down the street before disappearing. Pamela said it was the second time the mysterious figure had been spotted, 
And two days later, they checked the security footage and saw the same mysterious individual again, this time seemingly materializing out of thin air at the end of their driveway. Possible apparition is clearly some kind of figure that takes a few steps down the street and then dissipates into thin air. When Pamela went outside to look for the man, she didn't see anyone, leading her to assume that it was some kind of ghost. On a similar note, it wasn't just Pamela who has noticed some spooky things going on in their area. The following day, her neighbor admitted to having a ghost living in her house. The mother of two claims she feels like someone is listening when she is alone in the house and has even felt someone throwing something at her. What do you guys think about this? Is this just a man walking and a glitch in the camera? Or is this an actual apparition? Often known as the vampire deer, this little guy was picked up from a field camera. This is the Chinese water deer, a small herbivorous mammal native to China and Korea. These smaller deer typically weigh between 33 to 65 pounds and stand around 2 to 3 feet tall at the shoulder. Obviously, they are known for their large tusk-like teeth, which both males and females have. These vampire deer live in wetlands and grasslands near water sources such as rivers and lakes. They're most active during the early morning and late afternoon and are known to be solitary creatures outside of the breeding season. They are also a protected species in China and Korea, and hunting them is illegal. Beside the fact that it looks menacing, it is unclear as to why evolution chose fangs over antlers for this deer. One expert suggests that all deer had both fangs and antlers at one point, and over time the larger deer kept the headgear, and the smaller deer did away with them in favor of the teeth. Nonetheless, an awesome specimen. A trail camera set up in the woods of Colorado captured a mysterious unicorn-like creature wandering through the forest. The animal, with a single horn protruding from its forehead, has caused a great deal of speculation and excitement among local residents, and even some wildlife experts. As we've all been taught, the existence of unicorns are purely fictional. They are mythical creatures and it's impossible for a real animal to have a single horn protruding from its forehead. Well, this seems like a real animal and that's really a horn. In all honesty, it looks like a perfectly healthy elk with some type of mutation that makes the horn grow from its head. Some people are claiming that this is photographic trickery and that an animal like that doesn't exist. I'd beg to differ and I think it's a really cool camera capture. Let me know what you guys think about this. Has anyone seen anything like this? Speaking of antlers in the wrong places, a deer caught on a trail camera has been captured with an antler stuck in its neck. The footage shows the deer moving around with the antler protruding from its neck, seemingly unbothered by it. This type of phenomenon is called cross-browsing where bucks during rut engage in intense fights and one of them can get their antlers stuck in another's flesh. While it may look painful, these types of injuries are usually not life-threatening and the deer will typically be able to remove the antler on its own. But of course, in some cases, the protrusion may cause significant damage to the animal, to its vision, mobility, making it more vulnerable to predators or disease. It's always amazing to see the way these animals have the capability to adapt and heal. This video captured around midnight shows farm goats in Brazil corralled into a pen and relaxing during the cooler evening. However, suddenly, they catch wind of something and realize they aren't alone. As the stragglers retreat to the comfort of the herd, it's kind of eerie to see all of their eyes looking in the same direction, out of the pen, trying to see what they're sensing. Well, it doesn't take long to see what they're worried about as a puma enters the camera and is now in the pen. I am curious as to why the cat paused there for a moment. Maybe he heard a person or something. Anyhow, the puma corners them and takes his pick. Quicker than he enters, he's out of there. He leaps goat in mouth, such power. I'll stop the clip there, but we'll link it in the description if you'd like to see the rest of the clip. 
It's only a few seconds longer, but some viewers might not like it. This next video shows a not often talked about topic, however, an increasing one. There has been a recent increase in reports of UFO sightings by pilots. These sightings have occurred all over the world and have been reported by pilots of commercial and military aircraft. The pilots have described the UFOs as being a variety of shapes and sizes, and some have reported that the objects were able to move at high speeds and make sudden maneuvers that would be impossible for known aircraft. The FAA has encouraged pilots to report any unusual sightings to the agency, and many pilots have done so. They also state that they take these reports very seriously and investigate each one thoroughly. The military and other government agencies have also been monitoring these sightings. Let's watch a clip of the pilot explaining what he saw. What the uh, common denominator is, but it's always at the bottom of the Big Dipper. Mark Holsey is a former F-18 fighter pilot this August, he was piloting a private jet off the coast of Los Angeles when he says he saw as many as seven mysterious objects appearing to fly thousands of feet above him. This is audio from that night alerting air traffic control. Yeah, I don't know. You're not entering any military or space or anything. I'm not sure. The increasing number of UFO sightings reported by pilots has led to a renewed interest in the phenomenon of UFOs and the possibility of extraterrestrial life bet my life on it there are many more pilots and a lot more videos that are going to come out i know this is going to happen i know what it is what do you guys believe nevertheless the continued reports by credible witnesses like pilots add more weight to the idea that there may be something strange happening in our skies and it deserves further investigation this next trail camera caught a deer Dancing? Nah, I don't think so. At first glance, I thought the deer might have walked into a nest of fire ants. But on second thought, she could also be engaged in a behavior called stotting or pronking. Stotting is when a deer is startled or frightened. They jump into the air kicking their legs out before landing on all fours and running away. This behavior is seen in various species. They use this behavior as a means of communication and to signal their fitness and alertness to potential predators. It can also be used to assess the predator, assess whether he or she is able to chase the pronking animal or not. Nevertheless, it's very interesting. Recently, a photograph of an unusual creature has been circulating on social media and causing quite a stir among wildlife experts and enthusiasts. This photograph, which was reportedly taken in the forests of Montana, appears to show a bear elk hybrid, a creature that has never been seen or documented before. The animal in the photograph is clearly a bear, but it has a set of large antlers, similar to those of an elk growing from its head. The antlers appear to be fully grown and well formed, which has led some experts to believe that the animal is not a genetic mutation or a hoax, but an actual hybrid of a bear and an elk. Now, the idea of a bear-elk hybrid seems highly unlikely. Bears and elk are from different families, and hybridization is rare in animals with distinct genetic makeup. And there is no scientific proof that such crossbreeding is possible in nature. So is this a hoax, or are we going to call it a belk? I'm going to play a little clip from this video that I found. I'm going to show a clip from a reported documentary. The film's maker claims that in 1942, German soldiers killed an animal similar to a wolfman. As you can see, the animal appears to be bipedal and has a strange physical build. Let me know what you guys think about this. 
This next clip is a viewer submission from Ronnie L. And it shows a picture that I've only seen in my nightmares. He explains that one of his trail cameras set up in the woods of Vermont captured a mysterious wolf-like creature wandering through the forest. The creature, which some are saying is just a gray wolf with mange, was captured on camera in the early hours of the morning and has caused a great deal of speculation and excitement among local residents and wildlife experts. One of the first things that stands out about the creature in the photo is its size. Wolves are typically around 4 to 5 feet long and can weigh up to 150 pounds. But the animal in the photo appears to be significantly larger, more heavily built than a typical wolf. He also has thick, shaggy fur and a broad snout. Some experts have suggested that it could be a rare, undiscovered subspecies of wolf. Another intriguing aspect of the creature is its coloration. Gray wolves are typically a mix of gray, black, and white. But this animal appears to be entirely brown, which would make it quite unusual. This coloration could also be due to the camera flash, or the time of the day it was captured, as it was captured in the early hours and the darkness might have added to this brown coloration. The location of the sighting is also worth noting. Vermont is home to a small population of gray wolves, but they are not commonly found in this part of the state which has led some to suggest that the animal in the photo may be a recently reintroduced or escaped captive. However, experts are currently not able to confirm if it is indeed a wolf. It's difficult to tell from just the one photograph, and they would need more evidence. Even though the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department, who have seen the photograph, are excited and has begun an investigation to figure out more about this mysterious creature, they have urged anyone who sees the animal or has any additional information to report it to the department immediately. Let me know what you guys think about this picture. I wish he had sent more in. Nonetheless, let me know what you guys think about this photo.